quality of implants. Is there a difference in the quality of different types of implants? Dr. Ennis here at Ennis Plastic Surgery in Boca Raton, Florida. So people often ask, is there a difference in the quality of implants? Is there a difference that are better implants and not a better implant, cheaper implant, more expensive implant? Absolutely. So you have to go back and look at the history of implants to understand this. Go all the way back 1980s, early 1990s. The old silicone implants were typically a liquid implant, more the consistency of molasses or maple syrup. Those implants were taken off the market in the early 1990s in the United States. Everybody else in the world continued to use them, but in the United States, I took them off the market for some concerns of health reasons. In 1995, the new silicone implants came out that were like a gummy bear. You could cut these right in half. Um, they were a much better implant, a big improvement over the saline implants because the saline implants would often ripple and you could see these little ripples and, um, and ridges through the skin. So the first silicone implants that came out were like this. They were a much better implant, big improvement. They were softer. But one of the things they did in an effort to make them soft is they underfilled the implant like this. So so everybody likes that nice, pretty fullness at the top of the breast. With these older style implants, the only way to get that nice, pretty fullness is to fill them up really tight. So sometimes girls end up being a lot bigger than they wanted to because they're trying to fill up the skin envelope or fill up the breast with an implant that didn't have a lot of support to them. So we went back to the implant companies and said, look, we need an implant that supports the top part of the breast. So we need an implant that uh, will is more of a gummy bear and supports the top part of the breast better so we don't have to go so big or fill them up so tight. So the implant companies came up with two new implants called the soft touch and the highly cohesive implant, essentially the gummier or the gummiest implants. So the older responsive style implants are still available. Surgeons can buy them very cheap in some of these cheap places. That's exactly what they're using. And they don't even tell the girls there's a difference in quality. They're Again, older technology, like anything, can be bought very cheap. The soft touch is better, or the nicest, it would call the gummiest or highly co cohesive implant. Again, it's going to support the top part of the breast much better. It is truly like a gummy bear in the sense that you could cut a wedge out of it like that, but it's still soft and feels nice. So essentially what it's allowed us to do is use a much smaller implant and still get the nice, pretty fullness there to the top of the breast. So these are the newest highly cohesive implants.